Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will continue unit one from prep three around town, lessons one and two. I will revise the vocabulary again. Description, timetable, brochure, botanical, directions, discussion, decision-making, diversity, market, attractive, interesting, weekends, lake, tennis lessons, the Natural Science Museum, calm, directions, lunchtime, grandparents, respect, respect is used as a verb and as a noun, opposite, aquarium, museum, restaurant, library, botanical gardens, sports center, monuments, especially, pollution, traffic, favorite, peaceful, natural reserve, look like, facts, hospital, area. Now we will start with the present simple. The present simple is uh, uh, being taught for you so many times from the primary to grade one and grade two uh, intermediate. And this year we will study again the present simple, but we, be, but we will see something new about using the uh, present simple for scheduled events. The present tense is the base form of the verb. First of all, we have to know about the form of the verb in the present simple. The present tense is the base form of the verb. When I say the base form, I mean the verb without any additions, like when I say play, li like, drink, eat, run, sleep. This is the base verb. I work in London with the third person singular, he, she, it, when the subject he, she, or, uh, or it, we add S and sometimes ES. She works in London, or when I say the bird eyes, I in the sky. You notice here that we changed Y to I and we added ES. Present simple questions. Look at these questions. Do you play the piano? Where do you live? Does Jack play football? Where does he come from? Do Rita and Angela live in Manchester? Where do they work? Here, students, from these examples, I want you to discover how can we form the uh, uh, question from a sentence in the present simple. If I say, I play the piano. If you want to ask me, do you, want, do you play the piano? I live in Cairo. Where do you live? Jack plays football. If I want to ask about if he plays football, does Jack play football? So we use the auxiliary verb do and does to help me form a question. Yes, no questions. We have two kinds of questions. Yes, no question like this. Do you play the piano? And the answer yes, I do, no, I don't. Does Jack play football? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. And we have WH, WH questions like this. Where do you live? I live in Cairo. Or where does he come from? He comes from Scotland. So we use do and does to make questions with the present simple. We use does for the third person singular, he, she, it, and do for the others. Don't forget this, please. We use do and does with questions, words like where, what, and when. We call this kind of questions WH questions because they start with question words like where, what, and when. 
Where do Angela and Rita live? What does Angela do? When does Rita usually get up? There are also another kind of question when we ask about the subject of, of a sentence. For example, when I say, Ali, Ali lives in London. He lives in London. Okay. And I want about, about that subject. I want to ask about that subject. So I say, who lives in London? Muhammad Salah plays football at the weekend. Who plays football at the weekend? Okay. My brother works at Liverpool City Hospital. Who works at Liverpool City Hospital? So if we want to ask about the subject of the sentence, we don't use the auxiliary do or does. Again, if we want to ask about the subject of the sentence, we don't use the auxiliary do or does. Often, don't use do or does. Here are some useful questions. Try to remember them. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Do you come from Alexandria? Where do you live? Do you live in Cairo? What work do you do? Do you like playing football? Do you know how to use computer? Present simple negatives. How to form the negative of the present simple? Look at these sentences. I like tennis, but I don't like football. Don't is the abbreviation of do not. I don't live in London now. I don't play the piano, but I play the guitar. They don't work at the weekend. John doesn't live in Manchester. Doesn't is the abbreviation of does not. Angela doesn't drive to work. She goes by bus. From this example, my dear students, we, I want you to discover how can we form the negative form of the present simple. Yes, that's right. We use don't and doesn't. We use don't with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. I don't, you don't, they don't, the boys don't. And we use doesn't with the pronouns he doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't, Ali doesn't, okay? Yes, I am, John doesn't live in Manchester, doesn't. Angela doesn't to drive to work, she goes by bus. We use do or does to make negatives with the present simple. We use doesn't for the third person singular, he, she, et, and don't for the others. Now we will discuss another item concerning the present simple. That is present simple and present time. We use the present simple to talk about something that is true in the present. That is the use of the present simple. Why do we use the present simple? I'm 19 years old. I'm a student. He lives in London. So we, do, we use the present simple to talk about a true, something that is true in the present, something that is true in the present. When I say, I am 19, I am a student, he lives in London. Sometimes something that happens regularly in the present, which we want to express a daily routine or a repeated actions, we use the present simple. I play football every weekend. I go to school by car. I, my father 
usually drinks coffee in the evening. This is a daily routine. This is a repeated action or this something that happens regularly in the present. Also, we use the present simple to express something that is always true. The human body or in other words, about when we talk about facts. Talk about facts. When we talk about facts. Yes. Like what? When I say the human body contains 206 bones. This is a fact. Light travels at almost 3,000 kilometer per second. This is a fact. When I say the Earth orbits the sun once, once a year. This is also a fact. Wood floats in water. This is also a fact. We often use adverbs of frequency like sometimes, always, and never with the present simple. These are the key words of the present simple. We use sometimes, always, usually, never with the present simple. So if I ask you what are the key words of the present simple, we use we always use the adverbs of frequency, like sometimes, always, never, usually, and often. I sometimes go to the cinema. She never plays football. Here are some useful sentences, complete them so that they are true for you and try to remember them. My name is Ali. I am 20 years old. I come from England. I live in Manchester. I am a doctor. I go to the beach at the weekend. I often play football with my friend. I never smoke. Complete these sentences so that they are true for a friend and try to remember them. He, his or her name is Sarah. His, she is a nurse. She is 15 or she is 25 years old. She comes from Alexandria. She lives in Hanouville. She is a doctor. She goes to the beach at the weekend. She often uh, goes to the cinema in the week, at the weekend. She never uh, uh, play computer games. Present simple and future time. We also use the present simple to talk about something that is fixed in the future. The school term starts next week. The train leaves at 19.45 this evening. We fly to Paris next week. We see that the present simple could be used to express a future action, uh, actions as we have seen in these examples. Something in the future after time. Words like when, after, and before, and after, if, and unless. Okay, so we can use the present simple to, uh, to express future if it is used with these uh, uh, words like when, after, before, and uh, with the uh, conditional F type one and unless. I will talk to John when, when I see him. You must finish your work when, before you go home. If it rains, we will go will get wet. He won't come unless you ask him. Now important structures and I want you to concentrate on these structures because I think they are new for some of you. The present simple for scheduled events and this is mentioned in your student book. Use the present simple to talk about scheduled events. Scheduled event here means events that are in as something like a timetable, something like timetable. Example, what time does the exhibition start? 
Here I'm asking about something that will happen in the future or in the near future. Yes, it starts at 9.30. That means that it will start at 9.30. The first metro train leaves at 8.20. Read more about the present simple. We use the present simple tends to talk about events happening in the near future. Example sentence like what? The lesson ends at 7 p.m. The film starts at 8 p.m. We use the present simple tense to talk also about future facts, like what? My exam are my exams are in June. The school year begins in September. 25 January is the memory of the Egyptian revolution. We use the present simple tense to talk about scheduled itineraries, plans, and timetable. Example sentences, the buses to Sham Sharm Sheikh run every half hour. The next bus is at eight o'clock. The train to Alexandria departs from platform four. The Egyptian museum closes at 5 p.m. The present simple passive, this is also very important. We have to know that structure, the structure of the present simple in the passive form Object M is R plus past participle. Take care of that structure. That's this structure, the present simple in the passive form. For example, farmers grow cotton in Upper Egypt in summer. This is an active sentence. If I want to make it passive, it will be cotton is grown in Upper Egypt in summer. This is passive. This is passive, okay? To express a habit in the present time we use, also these expressions are very important about uh, the present or about uh, uh, using uh, different types of use to. Be, get, plus use to are followed by verb ing or noun. Be, when I say, when I mean uh, be, it will be conjugated, conjugated to am, um, is, are, or get, used to, plus verb, ing, or a noun. Give an example, please. Yes, Abdullah is used to wearing new glasses. Abdullah, that means this is a new habit for Abdullah, or he is still practicing, or he's still wearing that uh, new glasses. It is somebody's habit to plus infinitive. It is my brother's habit to bother his sisters. Also we have subject plus am is are plus in the habit of plus verb ing. My father is in the habit of drinking so much coffee. My father is in the habit of drinking so much coffee. That means that my father is practicing or he has that habit. Subject, also we have number four, subject plus usually plus present simple. My grandfather usually gets up early. This is a habit in the present time. Also we have noun plus verb ing plus is plus somebody's habit. Example, getting up early to pray Getting up early to pray the dawn prayer is my grandfather's habit. Getting up early to pray the dawn prayer is my grandfather's habit. We also have how often, how often, once, twice, three times a week. If I want to ask about how many times that the action is happening, yes, I use how often. How often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym once a week. I go to the gym twice a week. I go to the gym three times a week. Now we will do some exercises about the present simple. I hope you have uh, understood the uh, present 
simple things and all the exceptional cases that we have discussed in related to the, uh, that topic present simple. Now choose, she in Florida, but prefers California. She lives, goes, arrives. Of course, she lives. Of course, she lives in Florida. Yes, when we on vacation, we never fly. When we go or when, of course, when we go, when we go on vacation, we never fly. I four languages, but I love Italian above all. I talk, I speak, I talks. What is the right answer? Of course, I, yes, speak, I speak. Good. You can space with your head in the water when you go snorkeling. Breathe, breath, breathing. Of course, yes, you can breathe. Yes. We don't, which airport the plane goes from? We don't know, think, like. What is the right answer? Yes, you are right. We don't know. Yes, we don't know. That's right. Yes. My little daughter, her eyes, when there's a horror movie on TV, my little daughter open, shut, closes. Yes, of course, closes her eyes. Yes. Kathy always about the boss. She hates her job. Always says, tells, or complains. Of course, once she hates her job, she complains. Now, another exercise. My best friend always funny jokes. Telling is tell, does tell, tells. Yes, the right answer. My best friend always tells. Yes. Children usually watching cartoons like, likes, liking, are like. Yes, my dear student, you are right. Children usually like. I want you to think about the answer before I say it and then Compare your answers with the answers I say. In many countries, people until they are 65. Our work works, work is work. Yes, of course, in many countries, people work. Yes. Some students, English well, so they space their own language. Aren't knowing speak, don't know speak, doesn't know are speaking, no aren't speak. Some students, this is plural, so we have to choose this. Don't know English well, so they speak, so they speak. Yes. My father enjoy working with other people. His face prefers working alone. Doesn't, never, isn't, always, doesn't, usually, is, never. Think about the answer before I give you the right answer. Yes, my father doesn't enjoy, doesn't enjoy, Working with other people, he usually prefers, yes, he usually prefers working alone. Yes, that's right. Betty is very kind. She space helps all people. She always, she never, she doesn't, 
she is. Once she is very kind, so she must be, or she always helps. She always helps. Good. Yes. She usually a lot of time to choose her clothes. Spend, spends, spending is a spending. Spends. Yes, that's right. I always my teacher's website to study English. Visit, I'm visiting, don't visit, visiting. Of course, the right answer, I always visit. Please put your things on the teacher's table. Please don't, please don't. You always wear the same uniform every day. This is a question. Are, does, do, is. Of course, the right answer, do. Do you always wear the same uniform every day? Ahmed, what space your friend space in New York? He space at university too. Think about this. We have three multiple choices. Yes, is, do, study, do, do, studies, does, does, studies, does, do, studies. What does your friend do in New York? He studies at university. So the right answer, what does your friend do? He studies. So the last one is the right answer. Okay. Yes. I think that's enough for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching. So we have to do this, right? Yes. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you have understood uh, this uh, present sample and all the exceptional cases. I want you to watch it again if you don't uh, 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 understand from the first time. You can watch the video again, and I wish you the best of uh, luck, and thank you for, for watching. Till we meet again in a new video, don't forget to put like for that video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.